Tonight we begin, though, with NBC5 Responds and a carry-on calamity involving a trusted sewing machine. A suburban Chicago woman says she always travels with it by her side. But when she recently flew across the country, the airline demanded that she check it last minute. And that resulted in some serious damage and a big bill. So that's when she turned to NBC5 Responds for help. Here's Lexi Suter. Like the thread intertwined in this towel, sewing is stitched into Joyce Rowland's life. It's me, that's all. <laughs> Every day, the 79-year-old spends hours at her sewing and embroidery machine, personalizing t-shirts, towels, and the list goes on. I do towels, I'll put Bible verses on it for my friends and stuff. So I'm just, I use it all the time. So when Joyce booked a month-long trip to visit family in California this past December, she knew she couldn't leave her sewing machine behind. I was planning on doing a lot of embroidering, embroidering for the kids when I was there. She flew American Airlines, O'Hare to LAX, riding in a wheelchair. She had her sewing machine in hand in its case, treating it as a carry-on bag, as she says she's done before with no problems. But this time, that wasn't an option. I'm at the um, gate, and they call us to go in, and they say, no, you can't take that. And I was like, no, it's going, it'll get damaged. But they already had it, and it was gone. When Joyce landed in California, she realized her machine was badly damaged, just as she feared. Adding insult to injury when she flew back home, the American Airlines flight attendants agreed with Joyce's original conclusion. The bag met the carry-on size requirements. And on the way home on American, they just accepted it as a carry-on. That was it. She took it in for repair, and when she got the bill, her stomach was in knots. $900. Nearly $1,000. Joyce says she immediately filed a claim with American Airlines, but then silence. Did you write them? Did you yeah, call them? Yeah, I wrote to them, uh, called them. No one responded. So that's when Joyce called NBC5 Response for help, hoping the airline would reimburse her. That's what I'm waiting for to get it reimbursed for it. I didn't think it was right for them to just ignore me. Statistics show Joyce has company. Just last week, the U.S. Department of Transportation published its Air Consumer Report, finding that the rate of carriers mishandling baggage increased from February 2022 compared to 2023 numbers. Thousands of bags damaged, lost, or delayed in the hands of the largest carriers in the United States. But for Joyce, good news was on the way. Within 24 hours of NBC5 contacting American Airlines, the airline told her it was writing a check to cover the entire repair bill. With her machine now fixed, Joyce calls this experience a lesson learned. I would tell people not to bring their sewing machines, I guess. No matter what airline you choose to fly, they all have different standards for what's considered carry-on or checked luggage. The TSA recommends doing your research and when in doubt, check with a gate agent to make sure your bag or your sewing machine can fly with you. Lexi Suter, NBC5 Responds.